Hello, beautiful people, and thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I have a very exciting instrument to show you. So this is a low A whistle, meaning like a bass A whistle, not a regular low A whistle, as in lower than a low D, lower than a low C, lower than a low B or B flat. This is a big old bass A. It's huge. Now, if you have watched my videos before, you'll know that I absolutely adore carbony whistles. They've made something called close finger hole spacing and this unique design, which I have shown in a video before, but I will also show you now, utilizes chimney extenders so that the holes on the outside of the whistle can be closer together than they are on the inside of the whistle. And that makes for whistles that can be low, but much easier to play. So I'm going to start with showing you the details of this bass A whistle. As you can see, we have this gorgeous molded mouthpiece here, the same as every other carbony whistle, a boxed windway at the top. And this is a new design. This little boxing around the window enables you to play these whistles outside in windy conditions. Um, it actually stops the wind getting to the blade and blowing your sound away. So you can play these outside. Um, they're great for that. Also, it makes it a great performance whistle. And this boxing helps to balance the overall sound of the high and low notes on the whistle as well. These whistles are tunable, so you can adjust the mouthpiece up and down the length of the whistle to get the correct tuning that you need. They're made from carbon fiber, so they are tough and hard wearing. Carbony whistles all come with lifetime warranties. Um, so you can see the natural sort of patterning of the carbon fiber. And then we get to the finger holes. Now these are our top three finger holes. As you can see, I can reach them with my finger pads. It is a little bit of a stretch, but again, this is a base A whistle. So if you were to utilize the uh, Piper's grip, you'd see that that's pretty easy. Honestly though, I'd probably stick with my finger pads for this top section. Moving down, we have the joint here. The joint itself has a few little uh, sort of rubber rings on it to keep everything in place. Make sure there's no air escaping from the whistle. And actually, if you look inside, you might be able to see some of the chimney extender work going on inside the whistle. Now the chimney extensions aren't on every hole. They tend to be on uh, some of the holes to reposition the holes that are typically difficult to reach. But adding this back onto our whistle, you'll see that the bottom three holes again can be covered with your finger pads. Coming to the end of the whistle, you'll also see it has the signature carbony slanted end. Tapered bore whistle as well. Let's hear how it sounds. So I guess that answers your questions to how it sounds, because it sounds amazing. Now I'm going to play some scales on this for you guys so you can hear how the scales sound as well. Let's do that right now.
So as you can see and hear, it's really easy to hit those higher notes. The shape of the windway just allows that breath speed to push into the second octave really easily without any need for overexerting or using a lot of breath. Um, the one thing I will say I've mentioned or noticed about the mouthpiece is that the boxing around the windway does give the whistle a little bit more of a gravelly, breathy, raspy tone to it than um, the carbony whistles that I have that don't have this boxing. But of course the boxing does help to balance the whistle overall volume wise so and, and sort of tone wise. So it depends whether you're buying um, for a purer tone or whether you don't mind that little texture to the voice of the whistle um, but you'd rather have the balance of the notes and you'd rather be able to play outside without having to worry. Um, so that's something to think about. You might be able to request one or the other from Carbony. Now to give you a bit of an idea of the size of this whistle, this is a low D whistle and this is the bass A whistle. So as you can see that whole bottom section essentially is extra length on the whistle. As far as finger holes go you'll see that the top three holes, as they're both black whistles, are exactly or pretty much exactly the same distance apart. The bass A whistle does have a little extra uh, difference between the first and second fingers than the James Dominic low D whistle. Moving down, if I uh, shift the low D at the bottom here, you'll see that again it is ever so slightly different on this bass A whistle. So basically your finger spacing on a bass A whistle is coming out the same as on a low D whistle and that is insane. Now the only issue you might have with a whistle like this, it certainly won't be where your fingers are going, it might be where your arms are going. Because although the finger spacing is relatively easy to achieve, the arm spacing when you've got it in your mouth, not so much. <laughs> Now this whistle obviously is a speciality whistle and that does mean it comes with a higher price tag. This was $630. It's not a whistle for everybody. It's not a cheap whistle. It's a high-end expensive professional instrument and uh, it's gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously it's not a whistle that everybody's going to own. I think if you do want to own a whistle like this, you need to make sure that you're going to use it and play it and Obviously you need to be able to justify the price, but they do come with a lifetime warranty. They're pretty much indestructible, made from carbon fibre anyway, and they are a professional quality instrument. Um, so yeah, might not be one that everyone can afford, but definitely one for the speciality whistlers out there and musicians that are using this for their job. That is all from me and this whistle today. If you want to find out more about Carbony whistles, you'll find my other reviews and also the Carbony website linked in the description down below. I don't make any money from this, um, so if you click on any links in the description it won't take you to anything that I'm earning from, it just takes you to the Carbony website so you guys can see their stuff. Um, but if you'd like to see my other reviews, you'll find them here on screen. If you want to support the channel, you'll find links in the description below, Coffee and Patreon, and also a super thanks button right here on YouTube as well. All of your support just helps me to create more content, keep this as my job, buy new whistles to review for you guys, and so much more. Don't forget to check out today's tune, which was Fields of Gold. There is a tutorial right here. I'll see you again very soon for um, another Tin Whistle tune, but until then, have a lot of fun. Bye!